What up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's your guy. Some, some, some. Hit the keys. Here today to bring you guys a quick review and demonstration over Amplitude X Drive. Um, it's basically a guitar pedal for Amplitude, um, but it's like 16 different distortion pedals in one. Um, it is currently free until February 25th. Fifth, so I would definitely suggest going over and grabbing that as soon as possible. Uh, make sure if you guys like this content though, you drop a whole elbow on that like button, hit subscribe and that notification bell so every time we bring you guys a new video, you can be the first to see. But let's go ahead and get right into this review. Some, some, some hit the key. All right, guys. So when you open up the plugin, it's going to look like this. And again, X Drive is just a distortion pedal for Amplitude. Amplitude is basically Ike Key Multimedia's guitar sim, um, their amp and their effects, their pedals, all that good stuff. Um, so basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna come over here to the aside, you're gonna hit this button right here, which takes you to effects. Um, and then you're just gonna go down to distortion and all you have to do is drag it and drop it onto the effect chain. Uh, since we already have one up, we're going to go ahead and remove that. Um, so in order to get to the plugin or any of the actual effects, you know, you just double click on the effect and it'll bring it up here for you. So as you can see here, when you're looking at it, it's got a whole bunch of different controls here for you. Um, so it's got drive, it's got bass, it's got mid, it's got treble, um, and it's got volume. So, you know, you got your EQ there. Um, right here is where you have all of the different um, guitar pedals right here. So that's a pretty nice feature. We'll go through that a little more here in just a moment. Um, and then here we have color, we have mid Q, we have mid frequencies, EQ position, noise gate, which is nice. You can keep clicking, you get more. So you get threshold, you get release, you get depth, you get compression. Um, and then you get a compression sin and then one more. And you also get, um, compression out and you get a cab simulation and then you get a mix. So right now I currently have the cab um, bypassed and I also have um, the amp bypassed as well. Um, so I'm gonna try this on a few different instruments because I wanna show you guys, you can use this on a few different things than just a guitar and you can get some pretty unique sounds, um, you know. So it's all about getting a good sound. Um, so this is what this little guitar riff sounds like before I put the um, distortion on there. Guitar players, I'm far from a pro. I'm not even a novice yet. I'm not even a beginner yet, so don't kill me for this riff. Uh, but it sounds like this. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn that down a little bit. Um, and then I'm gonna go ahead and turn the distortion on because as you know, the distortion is gonna you know, crank up the volume there. Um, so let's go ahead and open this back up. So this is what it sounds like with the setting that I have currently. So with this, you can go through the different models. So you can go through the different um, actual pedals and then you have the presets right here. So there's different presets in each um, in each model. So let's go ahead and, you know, as you see down here at the bottom, it goes through the different models and then you have your preset, you know, up here. So, you know. So I kind of like that big fuzz right there, um, but you can mess with little different things here too in the controls, so. I'm not even gonna cap. I played with this distortion in my guitar horribly for a clean hour uh, <laughs> before I did this demonstration. I had the time of my life, not even gonna lie. No, y'all didn't ask for all that, but you got that today. Um, so we'll just go through a few more of these other settings so you can just hear what the EQ and stuff sounds like. So again, it's a pretty nice sounding distortion to my ears, but again, I'm not a pro. Uh, I'm definitely a novice, as novice as you can be. 
Um, so let's go ahead and take this to uh, some more stuff. So again, there's a ton of different distortion types. Um, the next thing that I want to bring you guys to is you can use this on an 808. I knew y'all probably I was going to go there next uh, because obviously 808s and distortion go together real well. Uh, but you can get some cool sounding um, 808 distortion with this. Um, so this is what the 808 sounds like uh, by itself without any distortion. All right, so now let's go ahead and throw this guitar pedal on there and see what it sounds like. All right, and so obviously we can dial that back a little bit here or we can dial it back in the mix. I should have just done it on the mix on the pedal. So that's a very fire 808 in my personal opinion. I would rock with that. Um, so let's go ahead and go through a few more of the settings just so you can kind of hear what it sounds like on an 808. Um, so we'll go through some more presets. Um, that was just the 80s rock preset right there. Um, so let's go ahead and, um, you know, just do some presets. And so then if you want it to sound kind of unique too as well, you can unbypass this uh, amp down here and you get it to sound like this. So, you know, that sounds pretty dope as well. Um, the next thing I want to try it on for you guys is on a vocal, because again, you know, it's all about creativity. So you can do some pretty cool stuff with some vocals. So let's go ahead and stretch this back down um, to 75. And this is what it's going to sound like on some vocals if you mess with it. So here's what the vocals sound like um, without amplitude on there. Stressed out, I ain't making it that easy now. Now let's go ahead and throw amplitude on there. Stressed out, I ain't making it that easy now. Fire, now let's throw this spaced out on there. Stressed out, I ain't making it that easy now. Tapping out, yeah, I've given it all to death. So you can get a nice little distorted vocal if that's what you're into. I mean, you can also do that, like, let's say you were um doing some kind of vox you could definitely use this for your vox to give it some distortion on that as well um so let's go ahead and just flip through some of these presets and see what it sounds like Stressed out, I ain't making it that easy now tapping now yeah i've given it all today it's just i ain't making it that easy And then the same thing applies with this as well. You can turn on uh, the amp in the cabinet down here, and it just gives it a different sound as well. Stressed out, I ain't making it that easy now. 
So it's pretty nice. And again, you can use this on anything. Um, but the last thing I'm going to play it on for you guys is going to be a piano. Um, so this is what the piano sounds like without um, the amplitude on there. So I'm going to turn the spaced on first, uh, spaced out on first, and it sounds like this. But now once we throw some amplitude on there or some um, X drive on there, it's going to sound like this. So it just makes the piano sound so much more aggressive. And then the same thing, you can go through all kinds of different presets. You know, I like that distorted sound. So um, I can't stress enough. I would definitely recommend getting this. It is normally $150, but it is currently free. Again, I want to stress that it is free until February 25th. I know some people have issues downloading stuff from iKey Multimedia. Basically, this was the easiest thing that I've ever downloaded from iKey Multimedia. Um, you will have to download their product manager, um, but that is free. Um, you'll have to download Amplitude. You can get CS. CS is the free version. Um, so you'll have to download that first. You're going to have to add this on the website. But once you add XDrive on the website and you add Amplitude on the website, it'll automatically put the two together. So then once you open up the project manager and you download it and authorize, it'll automatically be there for you. And, you know, once you find it in your DAW, you'll be able to use it. So uh, make sure if you guys like this content, though, you drop a whole elbow on that like button, hit subscribe and that notification bell. So every time we bring you guys a new video, you can be the first to see. Appreciate you guys' time as always, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. All right, guys and gals, thanks for watching the video. Uh, make sure you hit the subscribe and like button. Uh, make sure you hit that notification bell so every time a new video comes out, you can be the first to know. Uh, let me know what tutorials you want to see next in the comments, and see you next time. Some, some, some hit the key.